the No Fate channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am doing a tale of the tape, putting these two bumper plates against each other. We have Rep Fitness's competition plate, and I have Rep Fitness's colored bumper plate, and we're gonna go over why I even have these in my home gym. I'm obviously gonna cover cost, thickness, warranty, bounce, and noise. And finally, we're gonna do a fate of the union to help you decide which one of these might be right for your home gym. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, do me a huge favor, give this video a like, and hit that subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I typically review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide which ones are gonna be right for your home gym, which ones you're gonna get tons of use out of, and most importantly, which ones are worth your hard-earned money. Before we get started, I wanna know from you, comment below, which plates do you currently have in your home gym? And why do I have two different sets of plates here? The honest answer is because of you. So many of my subscribers have been using my Rep Fitness affiliate link, it's in the description of today's video, that it does help me out and I thought it was only fair to take that money and to put it in to more equipment to review for you to hopefully pass along and pay forward information to help you improve your own home gym. We are gonna start off this tale of the tape with my favorite category, cost. And we all know that for many of you, myself included, cost is the number one factor you look at when trying to compare and pick up pieces of home gym equipment. And it's so hard to kind of compare apples to apples because we know shipping pieces of heavy weight around the country is expensive. So to normalize this cost factor, I'm gonna do two things. I am gonna do the total cost per pound to get one pair of 45 pound plates shipped to me in my home in Massachusetts. And then I'm gonna do the cost factor if you bought a 210 pound set shipped to me in Massachusetts. Obviously, depending on where you live, depending on how much you order at once, that's all going to impact cost. But hopefully this, you know, apples to apples comparison will give you at least a semblance of an idea of which one is gonna be right for you. I crunched the numbers. I did the algebra and I was able to calculate one pair of 45 pound competition plates delivered to Massachusetts, $6.42 per pound. The colored bumper plates, $4.64 per pound. But wait, if you actually got a 210 pound set, knowing that fully well that you're gonna save money the more you buy, this is going to come down to $3.67 per pound. So you're almost cutting that per pound price in half. And then the colored bumper plates for that 210 pound set is going to come down to $2.75 per pound. So obviously, as you can see, the more you buy, the more you order at once, the lower the price per pound is going to be. Thickness, for some of you, thickness counts because you big boys and girls know that you wanna get as many of these blue baddies on your bar as possible and that bar real estate is an issue. Competition thickness coming in at 2.125 inches for the 45 pound plates. The colored plates coming in just behind at 2.3 inches. Numbers, who cares about numbers? That's really hard to put it in perspective when I just put those numbers up there. Let's put them right next to each other side by side and you can see that the competition plates are thinner, but unfortunately not very much so. It's not a huge standout. And for many of you where bar space isn't an issue, like myself, I'm not as strong as I wish I was, it's not gonna be a problem going with the thicker bumper plate versus the thinner bumper plate. Warranty, something you hope to ugh, never have to use. Rep Fitness's competition plate comes with a five-year warranty. The colored plate comes with a three-year warranty. Keep in mind, these aren't gonna take nearly as much damage in your home gym as they would in a commercial gym, so you're probably never gonna have to use it. But a warranty is only as good as the company that backs it. One of the nice things about Rep Fitness is that they have been around for a while and they are expanding. The one time I had to have an issue with Rep Fitness in terms of their customer service, they literally called me. I sent them an email. Within a few hours, they rang my phone rather than play email tag, and I got the issue resolved same day. So I was really impressed with the one time I had to go through Rep Fitness's customer service. For those of you gym bros clanging and banging away in your home gym, noise and bounce, 
just isn't an issue when it comes to bumper plates. But there are those of you who have kids, they're trying to keep a quieter home gym environment. Many of you are doing CrossFit where you're dropping stuff from overhead or even up on your the front of your chest or your back of your shoulders, where you want to be able to know that these things aren't gonna bounce outside of your home gym and roll down the street. So for those of you, I actually set up a little experiment dropping these 45 pound plates from waist level in order to calculate the noise and the height. Unfortunately, YouTube compresses the heck out of all of the audio. So you're not gonna be able to actually hear the difference when I drop the comp plates versus the colored plates. I did calculate in my editing software that the colored plates were 97% louder than the competition plates, which is as expected. However, for many of you, that 97% increase in loudness just isn't going to be a factor. And it's not something that you might even recognize uh, in your home gym, depending on the acoustics of your home gym. In terms of bounce height, I'm going to be completely honest that my test was an absolute failure. I didn't have the cameras set up correctly to actually catch how high these bounced. If you look at the video, and I did play it in slow-mo, neither of them bounced very high. Clearly, the more weight you have and the higher you're going to drop it from, the more bounce you're going to get. But from my expectations in a home gym environment, I thought these were very, very good, having almost no bounce whatsoever on either of them. In the final tail of the tape category, we're going hands on because we're talking about touch and feel something you can't see in the marketing photos and frankly something that probably won't get picked up in this video either um, and it's not something that you can measure how these things touch and feel when you're putting them on the bar taking them off now obviously the competition plates are more expensive and rightfully so they actually feel better material the material feels a little bit softer a little bit more comfortable um, and it has a really nice lip hopefully you can see this right here it's just small enough to not be a nuisance but it's just big enough that when you're putting it on or taking it off the bar it just feels good in the hand really comfortable not a nuisance to take on or put off the tolerance as you would expect from a competition plate is much much tighter so it is exact to the bar and that is nice because it creates a little bit less movement on the bar when you put it on a little bit less noise as we've already spoken about conversely the colored bumper plates have a thicker rim they're a little bit more tougher to actually take on and pull off from like a weight standpoint, but they are right in line with what you would expect from colored bumper plates and getting them on and off the bar are easy. Compared to economy bumper plates that I have used in the past, the material feels nicer. It feels softer, not as soft and as nice as the comp plates, obviously because it's half the price, but it does feel good. It definitely feels like you're getting a good product, a good value for your money. And now it is time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my own personal thoughts on these bumper plates. Who needs competition bumper plates? Real talk, 99.99% of you watching this video don't need competition bumper plates. These are meant for CrossFitters like Rich Froning, Matt Frazier, professional CrossFitters, professional Olympic lifters, and the like. For the majority of us that are struggling to get two or three 45 pound plates on a bar, we don't need the high level of accuracy that come along with these competition bumper plates. The Rep Fitness colored bumper plates have a ton of value and these should be your go-to if you want to get a great plate at an affordable price, especially if you are putting in a big order or just buying a set of these plates. You're going to get a great colorful plate that's going to pop. It's going to last you quite a long time and it's going to get the job done in all the right ways. Definitely something you can be proud of. Now, do I fault anyone who, who wants to go with the competition plates but doesn't need them? No, not at all, because when you buy these again, they're going to last you forever. And if you have a fun hobby like your home gym, hey, we want to have nice pieces of equipment, whether we're professional CrossFitters or if you're like a Joe Schmo just trying to have fun in their home gym as a hobby that does tend to lead to better health. I don't fault anyone for wanting to go with the competition plates. You're definitely going to get your money's worth, but you are going to be spending that money for the premium product. 
Hopefully you found this review informative. Let me know in the comments below which one you would go for if you were gonna be buying bumper plates today. I'm always curious what your decision process is. If you are gonna be buying anything from Rep Fitness, please use the affiliate link in the description below. It does help out the channel and that money goes right back in to picking up future pieces of equipment to review for you. If you came this far in the video and still have questions regarding these bumper plates, drop it in the comments below and I'll get it answered as quickly as I can. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.